Our special guest on Florida Newsmakers this week is the executive director of one of Florida's newest agencies, the Department of Economic Opportunity. Jesse Panuccio, welcome to the program. Well, thanks so much for having me. I'm thrilled to be here. Let's get right to it. Jobs, jobs, jobs. That's the number one focus of Governor Rick Scott, who set out an ambitious goal of reaching 700,000 jobs in seven years. Tell us what the department is doing to help reach that goal. Well, you're right that it is the number one priority. And let me first just tell you where we are uh, on jobs, jobs, jobs. Since the governor's taken office, we've created nearly 300,000 private sector jobs. Our unemployment rate has fallen from 11.1% to 7.7%, and we're tied with the nation for the first time in five years. In terms of what has led to this, I think it's the policies the governor and the legislature have put in place over the last two years. Balanced, sensible budgets, lower taxation, sensible regulation, and promoting a sensible litigation environment. How is that, is that, is that really working? What are we seeing to see this goal being reached? Well, I think it is working. If you look at, again, the drop in unemployment, the addition of new jobs, and also how does Florida compare to the rest of the nation? We have outpaced uh, national job growth every month since March 2012, so for nearly a year. If you look at our consumer confidence in March of this year, it's rising while consumer confidence across the nation has been falling. If you look at how we compare to other states like California, Illinois, New York, their unemployment rates are all still in the high eights or the high nines. They're raising taxes and losing residents. We haven't had to raise taxes. We've, lo we've lowered taxes and we're gaining residents and our numbers are all falling much more markedly than those other states. What has been the anecdote to seeing Florida's unemployment rate slowly but steadily on the decline? Uh, I think it's a result of the policies that have been in place and the business-friendly pro-growth uh, environment that we've had. I think you really are seeing a change in the econ economic community and in the business community about how Florida is talked about and what it looks like as a destination for business. Let's talk about incentives. They play a very important role in bringing jobs to the state, companies luring them here, but they've been heavily scrutinized. What's your department's argument in, in making sure to see more incentives get put into the state's budget? Well, first, one thing I'd want to stress is that incentives are actually one small piece of the economic development puzzle. The most important thing we do is promote a low-tax, sensible regulation environment with a great educational system and a wonderful talent pipeline. But incentives are a piece of that puzzle, and what we do to ensure that they are uh, well administered is we ensure that they're done transparently, accountably, and efficiently. And so we, for instance, have launched a first-of-its-kind incentive support on our website in the last two months so that every Florida taxpayer, anytime they want, can visit our website and see every single non-confidential incentives deal that's out there and look at how the companies have performed. In addition, we also require companies to perform to get the tax credit or the grant. They have to have skin in the game. They actually have to create the jobs and prove that they've done so to be able to get the incentives. Why should we give more? We already have incentives out there. Why should we give this increase? Well, what we're asking for is uh, an increased budget allocation this year, but we want to use the same incentive programs we've been using. And the reason we should have more is because the economy is growing. We want to bring even more businesses to the state. We want to continue the undeniably positive trends that we've had for the past two years. All right. As one of Florida's newest agencies, the newest agency, what are you doing unlike any other um, to, to, to make Florida better? Well, I think one of the things that makes our agency unique is that we touch on so many areas of government and society because everything can be related back to the economy. So we have an agency that's actually made up of three fairly unique divisions in terms of the workforce services, the economic development, and then also the community development. So one of the things we have to concentrate on all the time is how do we streamline, how do we get the synergies between the divisions to work well. I've told uh, everyone on my staff that when we're done with our uh, tenure at the agency, I want people to point to us and say that's the best run agency in state government. All right, Jesse Panuccio, the executive director of the Florida Department of Economic Opportunity, thank you so much for joining us today. Well, thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. That's it for this edition of Florida Newsmakers. Join us next time.